Hello, Libras. So the last reading I did, I was getting that you're making someone really want to be the empathic person that they used to be. Like you, you're making them want to be that romantic, empathic person that they were before. Like you're, you're putting them in touch with that side of themselves. You really bring out a softer side of this person. This person's been wanting to open up to you more and more. Well, let's see what's going on. Let's see what story we have today. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Clubs, parties, social life. So you either just met, you could have met this person at a party or, or club, or you might be meeting them. This could be a new person coming in that you're going to be meeting in some sort of social event, like a festival or a club or a party, some kind of social gathering. Uh, submissive, weak-willed. Sadness, okay. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Confusion and uncertainty. Hmm. Truth and clarity. Domination and control. submissive to there's something about a club or party like either and I'm smelling a barbecue for some of you it was at a bar something at a barbecue or they went to a barbecue only for like a couple of you hmm, what are they submissive to anger miscommunication new love faded encounter Divine intervention, synchronicity. So for those of you that this is like a new love, I really feel like you're just, it's its a continuation of the same energy we were getting before. If this is someone that's just come in or they're, they're coming in now, um, it's like you make them want to do better. Because I feel like in the past, they've given in to this energy. So I think it's saying a couple things here. For some of you, I think it's saying that you guys are going to meet or you did meet at a club or party or some kind of social gathering. Um, like you, they were kind of seduced by you. Like they thought you were beautiful, charming, um, male or female, either way. Like you kind of pulled them in and they were submissive to that energy. I also see it as like they're submissive to your pain. Like they're protective of you. Like they care about your pain. So for those of you that this is like a new, like a new love, a new person, I feel like maybe there was some miscommunication that hurt you. There's a couple different stories there. For, for some, there was like, they might have, you know, maybe there was anger, miscommunication that hurt you. And now they're um, overthinking this and they're trying to figure out how to make this right. I'm also feeling like I mean, because this could be someone from the past. It could be someone that's just like they hurt you and now they're they're recognizing their own toxicity and they're wanting to make things better and be better for you. I'm getting that whatever the situation is, I'm getting this person is working on themselves for you. That's that's a strong energy that's coming through. Even if it's a new person that you've just met or that you're going to meet. I kind of feel like maybe in the past they've had issues with cheating like they've been submissive to this kind of energy like clubs parties or like had like addictions or something that caused other people in their life sadness like caused their family sadness or friends or caused their significant other sadness so I see the potential for cheating here but it feels like it feels like they're recognizing that and like now that they've met you they feel like they feel like <clears throat> oh my gosh sorry could be throat chakra blocks too. They could feel like this this um, connection is a blessing from the universe. 
So either this is an old connection and they're rethinking things and I think they're wanting to come back around and they feel bad about how they've betrayed you or how maybe just things that they've done wrong, wrong in their life. Like they're kind of in this very introspective energy where they're thinking about the past a lot and, and thinking about the kind of person they want to be. Um, so like I said, that could be an ex that's just wanting to come back around and do things right. But I, for a lot of you, I feel like it's a new love that's just come in or coming in that wants to do things right. It kind of seems like they're feeling like whoever this is, they feel like this connection is like a second chance for them. Like this is like a blessing from the universe. Like you have like this angelic light about you. I don't know why I keep smelling a barbecue. Um, I'm lighting sage, but it's like sage doesn't smell like a barbecue. <laughs> Anyway, but whether it's new or old love, it's like they're just feeling like this connection is like a blessing to them. And they might have caused you sadness or they caused other people like like exes in their life sadness. And so they're, they might be thinking about this, like if they had like an addiction or something or they had like like cheating or partying too much or something that ended up hurting um, their hurting uh, their people that they've dated in the past then I see that they're, or they've like had like anger issues or miscommunication issues with people in the past also feel like they feel like this new love with you. Um, and it's new love, even if it's an ex, it's still, it's like renewed love. You know what I mean? Like they want to do things differently or it's someone completely new coming in and they just, they also want to do things differently, but instead of comparing it to how they used to be with you in the past, they're comparing it to how they were with exes that they've dated in the past. And they're like, they want this relationship to be different. They want to do things better this time around than they did with their exes. Cause like I said, they might've cheated. They might've been too much into partying. Um, maybe had anger issues like miscommunication, uh, that kind of thing that caused other people in their life sadness. So they're really like in this introspective kind of soul searching type of energy now and just feeling like this is a blessing. So they're, they like, they want to, make sure that they don't ever, they feel a lot of guilt. So they want to make sure that they don't ever cause another person like that, you know, pain again. I feel like maybe they, they had an ex that they really loved and I think that they hurt them. I think that they, um, like emotionally, I think they like cheated or they, they had an addiction or something in the past and they're maybe making sure that they don't relapse. Um, and they're maybe like, maybe they cheated and they, they saw how much pain, cheating cause so they're they're really wanting to do things right with you where they couldn't with their ex and this this time they're wanting to be they want they want to be loyal to you they want they see this as like a new start for them basically like they could have been married or something and maybe the 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 choices they made ended their marriage like addictions or cheating or whatever they might have been doing might have um cause their marriage to end and they realize that like I think they're taking responsibility for that like I don't see them like blaming their ex for that I think that they um I, th I think that they know that they messed that up and so they really want to do things right with you and they're kind of overthinking it a little bit they're I think it's caused confusion I think that there's some guilt and there's some things that have caused confusion for some of them that the car the X could be toxic, but I feel like for most of them, it was your person that was toxic in the past with either with you or with, um, the ex, the people that they've dated in the past. So they want like a new pattern, a new start with you and truth clarity is coming through. What is this truth clarity? Because we got, oh my gosh, sorry. Truth clarity. We got domination control. So I think, I think for one thing, they're thinking about their own dominant kind of masculine energy. And this could be a female thinking about masculine energy too. It doesn't have to be a male. It could be male or female. But your person is basically thinking about, um, you know, this energy. How to, how to take control in the right ways. How to be dominant in healthy ways. You know, like healthy masculinity, not toxic masculinity basically. And again, this could be a female that's that's you know, just in that masculine energy, like has a stronger masculine side than feminine side. Listening and understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, faith, and bravery. Also some focus for them on career right now. They are vulnerable, receptive. I think this person is just kind of feeling like they might not be good enough for you. Like they really want to make sure that they're good enough and they're trying to kind of perfect themselves. They're trying to, um, I just getting that they have a pattern from their past, like I said, cheating or an addiction. Um, it could be gambling. It could be a number of things. Like you probably know what your personal situation is or what what's going on with them. But 
it's it kind of seems like they're just they see this as a new start so they really want to be perfect for you like they really want to do this right or like i said this could if this isn't a new person then this could also be an old person that messed up with you in the past and they're really wanting to um and some kind of pattern like if they were like a habitual cheater like they kept cheating on you like they're they're really trying to to figure out there's some kind of pattern or addiction that they're working on breaking right now so they might seem kind of detached but I think it's just because they're in this very introspective energy where they're really focusing on this this person feels a lot of guilt and I think that they really want to be a better person than they were before so that's that's where a lot of their energy is is focused right now um, if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into what your person's thinking feeling wanting uh, what happened with the exes, whatever you want to know. I mean, this is a general read, but I can I can go into a lot more detail for you personally. If you want, just send me an email. My email address is in the description box below this video. You could just copy and paste the email right below. It is uh, dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And please subscribe if it resonates too. Hit that subscribe button because I do these regularly every couple weeks. And then I'm also going live a lot now too. Um, love offer, commitment, fear of commitment. Yeah, the desire is there to commit to you. But there's a fear. There's a fear here. Tell me more about that fear. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love. It looks like they're choosing love over fear though. Like they are ultimately choosing love, but they're just trying to make sure that this pattern, whatever it is, has ended. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Yeah. Some of them could even have codependency issues. Tell me more about this fear. Nostalgia, longing, mental instability. Yeah, could have some like mental instabilities they're working on. Hmm. A lot of them are just wrapping up karmic cycles, it feels like. Before, and then they, they're trying, they're enchanted by you, but they're they're trying to perfect their lives and get everything together before they, they have this new start, this adventure, this honeymoon vacation with you. Is there anything else we should say about this reading before we wrap it up? Third party distraction, karmic partner. Some of them might still have karmics that they're kind of entertaining and they're like, I mean, that could, just for some of you, not too many of you, but for some of you, there is still like a third party distraction, which might not be a person, but it's something that's distracting them. And they're, it's like they're trying to um, maybe get this in order. Like maybe they, it's like they might have cheated before and they're kind of trying to not cheat now. Like they're trying to wrap up this cycle with someone. Before they can come in because they don't want to they don't want to be a cheater I feel like so I feel like a lot of these people were like cheaters so not all of them but a few like a good chunk of the people were like cheaters or they had some kind of pattern or something that they're wrapping up yeah but their dreams their visions telepathic communication the 5d it's leading them to you to their their angel their happiness their warmth their light this is a past life connection, probably a soulmate connection. You may guys have some soul contracts together too. Pause, reflection, rest, magic, manifestation, intention, power. Yeah, I think that they're just kind of pausing and they're trying to, they just really want to do this correctly. They really, publicity, social media. Yeah, they're probably watching on Facebook a little bit or on, on Instagram or some kind of social media. But I don't feel like, I mean, okay, so they're really focused on themselves right now and not so much focused on this relationship, but it's not really a bad thing. I mean, they're, I don't want to say they're not focused on the relationship. I just feel like they're introspective and they're trying to, they're trying to make sure that they're going to be good for you. They're trying to make sure that they're going to be in a position where they can be loyal, where they can give you the love that you want. Like they're trying to end some kind of pattern. So they feel a lot of guilt for hurting someone in the past. And I don't know if that was you or an ex, like an ex-wife, ex-husband that they hurt. Um, and they're just wanting to make sure that they don't ever cause anyone else in the future that pain. Whether it was you or someone else, they just don't want to. They, they cause someone a lot of pain, whoever that was. 
um, and they want to make sure that they they want to change themselves. They want to be a better person. They don't ever want to cause that kind of pain again. They learned a karmic lesson from that. So like if they cheated and then, you know, the, the, her, the person that they loved, it's like it ruined the relationship. Like the person broke down crying in front of them. Like they learned the consequences of cheating. They learn that it's not worth it. So they don't, it's not something they want to do in the future, but it just feels like they're still wrapping up some karmic cycles, some karmic energy. Like they're really, um, like wanting to make sure that that chapter of their life is over. They're wanting to make sure that, um, you know, they, they have it under control. Like if they have some kind of addiction or something or like a sex addiction or something of that sort, like they're, whatever it is, it's like, they're, they're trying to end these patterns. Cause they really, if they get into another relationship, they really want to make sure that they're stable, that they're loyal, that they do it right. So, so it's, it's, even though they're introspective, maybe it seems kind of detached in a way because they're so focused on themselves. It's ultimately a good energy though, for you guys in the long run, if this is your story. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Like I said, my email is right below. Uh, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe. Thank you.